little glass shaker. I got that from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to create something really elegant. So I'm using mulberry paper and a beautiful napkin I got from Vippy's Designs with all the florals. I'm going to use them together and I'm gonna create this little piece of decor that you can keep or give as a gift. We're at my crafting table and I love this little glass shaker I found at the Dollar Tree. Well, the first thing we're going to use is mulberry paper. Mulberry paper is a handmade paper. It has all these little threads running through it, very elegant. Then I'm going to use a napkin, a floral napkin I got from Vippy's Designs, www.vippies.com. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the top. We'll put that on later. When I'm ever doing a glass surface or a smooth surface, I like to give it a wipe down of regular alcohol. That's what I have here. I'm going to put it onto a cotton pole and I'm gonna go over the entire surface. Just gets rid of anything, oils or stuff from handling it. And as I like to say, it gives me a nice squeaky clean to start with. While the jar is drying, I'm going to start to tear the mulberry paper into little pieces. I'm not going to be using a scissor. I'm not going to need the water brush either. I'm just going to cut them into all, or tear them, I should say, into all different odd shapes. And I'm going to even do a couple little ones. Those are going to be for fills, and you'll see that when I get to it. So just keep ripping pieces off until you have enough to cover the whole jar. Okay, I'm ready to put my mulberry paper on. And as you can see, I've got a nice little pile here. All right, I'm going to position it inside a rice basket. Yes, there's rice under there. I could put it exactly the way I want and it's not gonna roll off the table. I'm gonna be using matte Mod Podge. That's the little container. I have big containers, so I put them into little containers. And this is some water. I'm gonna be using a little bit of water with this as well. I'm going to position the little shaker right in the basket. And I'm gonna start from the top down. I'm gonna avoid those little threads. That's where the top goes on. So I'm gonna dip my brush into water and I'm gonna tap most of it out. And then I'm going to go into the glue. I'm applying it onto the glass. I'm gonna put enough on so I can do say two pieces. I could pick any of those and I can put them right there at the top, the one piece. And as you can see, I'm touching it with my fingers because mulberry paper is much more durable than a napkin. So it kind of makes it perfect for beginners. You don't have to worry about it tearing. Now, the next piece I put on, as you can see, fit in there kind of like a puzzle, but you really don't have to worry about them fitting in like that because those little filaments, they're going to hide any overlapping. And that's one of, another one of the most beautiful things about working with mulberry paper. This also makes it good for beginners. And mulberry paper projects are very popular. I have several already. I can list them below so you can watch them. This video, however, is done by request. I've had you ask me, Joan, we need to have a project for my crafting group or my club. We need to have something we can do. We want it to be really nice, but it can't take all night. And I think this project is absolutely perfect for that. Um, these little shakers are available at the Dollar Tree, so they're very um, inexpensive. And so is the mulberry paper. As a matter of fact, I found a really good deal on mulberry paper. I'm gonna put the link below and you're going to get plenty, enough to share with your crafting friends, um, enough to share with your group. So you'll be able to do um, a bunch of these or a bunch of you can do these in one uh, craft session. Okay. Um, I'm using a little bit of water. I don't know if I told you this already. I want to make sure I don't forget because the mulberry paper is thicker than a napkin. So it makes it easier to handle. But because of that, I have to make sure the glue is going right through the mulberry paper. And that's why I like to use just a little bit of water when I'm putting on the decoupage glue. And as you can see, I'm also doing a little bit of tearing as I fit these little pieces on. And I just have to be careful not to roll that too much. You wanna let the one side dry before you move on to the other. So I'm just gonna let that sit now. Okay, it's all dry except for this little section in the back, which I'm going to do now. And I want to tell you that it's very important that each section dries before you move on to the next because 
if it's still wet or sticky, it's going to stick to whatever's underneath. So that's very important that you let each section dry. So I'm going to be finishing it, doing it the same way. I'm just have little pieces of mulberry paper and I'm fitting them in. But again, if they don't fit perfectly, it's okay. If they overlap, you're not going to see it because of all those little filaments and little threads running through. That is so pretty. I love how this looks. You almost don't have to even do anything else. Looks like cracked glass, right? All right, let's let that dry. Here's a great hint. When you're done doing the mulberry paper on your glass jar, put a flameless candle inside. And remember, I tore all those little pieces. I can see exactly the spaces that are missing mulberry paper, and it's such an easy fix. When I'm doing glass jars, or in this case, a glass shaker, I like to do the bottom. It kind of gives it that really nice finishing touch. And since I tore enough of the mulberry paper, I'm going to have enough to go all the way around the bottom. And I'm just going to apply it exactly the same way, a little bit of Mod Podge and a little bit of water, and it's going to go on very, very easily. And just go all the way around until the bottom is done. All right, so my jar is all dry, and I wanna point out that mulberry paper is handmade and it has all these little fuzzies, and that's where I need to use Mod Podge and water again. I'm going to coat the entire surface of the little glass shaker, and it's going to smooth down all of those little fuzzies, as I like to call them, and once it's dry, it's going to be ready for me to apply the napkin, which is my next step. I love this part because now the jar, the little shaker, is gonna really come together. So I picked out this beautiful napkin from Vippy's Designs. They have so many beautiful florals. It was hard to pick www.vippies.com if you wanna see what they have. Now, when I open this napkin up, you're going to see that all four panels are printed, but I'm only going to need one to go all the way around my little shaker. So the first thing we wanna do is separate the napkin. With napkins, only the top ply is printed and that's the one we use with decoupage. So we're gonna remove those back unprinted layers. I put a little glue on my fingers up there in the corner and those back layers came right off. All right, I opened up the napkin and now I'm just going to cut away one square. So because I'm only gonna be using one square, I have three more to do three more projects or three more of my little shakers. I'm going to put the napkin on, not in one big piece, but in lots of little pieces. So it's gonna blend into the mulberry paper. Oops, and I'm going to be using my water brush. There's a tube of water. The water feeds into the brush and I'm able to trace all the way around the images that I wanna use. And that's what happens when the top is not on. Okay, so I'm going to use my brush and the water is coming out and it's weakening the napkin. I'm able to tear the little pieces off and what I'm getting is a nice soft deckled edge that's going to blend into the mulberry paper. I love this water brush. You could use a, a regular brush dipped into water, but I'll tell you if you are in a hurry or you like doing things quickly like I do, then water brush is the thing to have. And look how cute and pretty those are and they're gonna blend in so nicely. I put the link for the water brush below. If you think that this is something that you have to have, I know I did. Anyway, we're gonna to start to put the little pieces of napkin on. So I'm going to position my little shaker inside that rice basket. It's gonna hold it into place while I put my first piece on, which is this beautiful morning glories. I love this. I have morning glories in my yard and I love them. So we're going to use just Mod Podge and no water this time. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the Mod Podge and I'm gonna to start to go right on top of the mulberry paper. And I'm gonna make sure there's enough that's gonna go underneath the napkin. And I'm going to start to smooth down the edges of the napkin. I'm gonna make sure, again, I'm gonna tuck that glue under there because I wanna make sure it's completely covered. And I don't know if you notice yet, but you will as I move along, how the edges of the napkin are truly blending right into the mulberry paper. And another thing, I'm not sure you noticed this yet, but I'm moving on to the next piece and I'm not going to be using saran wrap because I don't have to worry about wrinkles. I could put the next piece on, smooth it down with my brush, and if there are wrinkles, like so far there aren't any wrinkles, you're not going to see them. So when I decided to do this jar, I'm kind of going for like a wildflower look. So that's why I'm doing all different ones. Like that one is really a cute flower, a little bit different than the other ones I put on, but I really like it. And that's what makes doing a, a project like this so much fun. Look how pretty they are. All right, let's let that dry. 
I'm glad I chose this napkin. It's really working out well with this jar. And if you've been following me along step by step, and I really hope that you have been, you can see that this is not a hard project to do. I would definitely say this is a beginner's project. That's why I'm saying if you have a group, a club, a crafting group, something like this would be an absolutely fabulous first project for anyone who has never decoupaged before. So I picked a floral for this particular shaker, but remember, it doesn't have to be a floral. You can even do something like this for Christmas. It's gonna come out so pretty. Look at that. What do you think? Oh, I know I would love to get something like this as a gift. I think this next step is a nice finishing touch. I have this really pretty spring green that looks absolutely fabulous on the white mulberry paper. So this is a natural sponge and I'm, all I'm doing is I'm pouncing it all the way around the bottom. I love how this looks. It gives that little extra pop of color, just another finishing touch to the little shaker. Okay, take a look around and let's let that dry. I did go ahead and I also did the handle and all you do is put it on the same way and just kind of tuck it underneath. Now, did I just say finishing touch? No, I actually have another finishing touch, which is the extreme glitter paint. I love this. We're going to get some really nice sparkle. Extreme glitter paint is one of my favorite things to use. This is hologram. I love that one. I use it a lot, but I also like the one that's called champagne, which is like a little bit of gold. I love both of those. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to spread it all over the shaker, right on top of the mulberry paper and right on top of the napkin. And then I'm gonna hold it up so you can see how beautiful this extreme glitter is. Look at that. It's so pretty, just adds that little extra touch. So I don't know, is this my last little finishing touch? Well, you're just gonna have to keep watching and find out if I have any more little things I wanna add to this jar. So just go over the whole thing like I am and put it off to dry. So pretty. Once the extreme glitter paint is dry, I'm ready to go ahead and protect my little shaker. And what I'm going to use is one of my favorite products, which is the Door Clear Varnish. I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over the jar and I'm going to do two coats and let each coat dry before I move on to the next. Now you're not going to be able to put this in a dishwasher, but you certainly can take a wet towel and wipe it off. So it's very, very usable. And I'm gonna put the link for the door clear and the different finishes below. All right, my shaker is all done. As you can see, I put some flowers in it and I also have a flameless candle and it's so pretty, but I wanna show you something else. You could take the top off and remove all of those flowers, okay? Especially if you're giving this as a gift because now it becomes usable decor. And I say this because I have one of these at home. So you take out the light and then you put the top back on. And now you can use this for powdered sugar. That's what we use it for. We put powdered sugar and it goes right on top of our French toast. So now you have something that's pretty, great favor, great gift. And then it's something that's usable because there's holes in the top. And because you put the door clear on, this can be wiped off. You can't put it into the dishwasher, but you can definitely wipe it off. And look at all of that glitter and shine. I just love how this came out. I could probably make dozens of these, but it's fun. It's an easy project and I hope you like it, but I really hope that you're gonna go ahead and try using a beautiful napkin from Vibby's Designs and layer it with a piece Piece of mulberry paper which is so elegant and if you enjoy these kinds of videos please subscribe to my youtube channel decoupage diy with joan marie domino you can like and follow me on my facebook page as well where i always put extra stuff on there so i'll do other mulberry projects and look at this i'm in my studio and i'm actually going to dim down the lights i want you to see how pretty that would be thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time